Today we're here at Slate Restaurant. We're making our very unique bone-in bison filet. My name is Chef Gavan Ho and you're watching Restaurant Recipes. So right here, this is our star of the show. This is our beautiful bison bone-in filet from Peninsula Food Service. We got it sous vide, 135, beautiful midware, and we're just gonna sear it on our wood fire grill. On the side, we're gonna have a very simple preparation of baby colored carrots and the carrot puree. You know, oil. After you sous vide, the meat tends to need a little bit of oil just so we don't stick to the grill. Nice seasoning. We don't season the beef before because it tends to get a little bit gummy in the sous vide. Now that our beef is on, we're gonna start working on our carrots. We're gonna start with our butter. And shallots. And we're gonna let those start caramelizing. We don't wanna let them get too dark because we're gonna add our carrots and we're gonna continue the cooking process. Once you have the carrots in, beautiful, beautiful. Now we're not looking for too much color on this, we're looking for more flavor, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our gastric to it. Now our gastric is like a caramel that we deglaze with vinegar. So after we do that, it gives a lot of depth of flavor to the carrots, and we're gonna season those, and then we're gonna coat them in our biscuit crumb. So the biscuits we use in house, we make in house, then we grind them up for our crumbs, and then we add some herbs to it. This will take a little bit of extra salt because of the amount of sugar that we have in here. So for me, when I'm grilling on the wood fire grill, it's not as much about the nice sear marks. It's more about that charred flavor. So we can move it around a lot and you'll see the crust that really starts to form. Along with our carrots, we also have a beautiful little carrot puree here. When working with open fire, you always gotta be aware of your heating points and what else you can put on the grill. Usually in the service, we'll have more of the heat to this one corner so we can start getting things really hot that side and then we'll ease them off as we need them to rest. There'll be like eight to 12 things at a time on the grill, so we need to have the zones allocated. And because we already sous vide, we don't need to go too far with these just to get them nice and hot. All right, the carrots are getting nice and glazed now, so we're gonna start working on the crumb. So this is our biscuit crumb mix that we use. Now these give the carrots a lot of texture as well as flavor. And then after we do that, we're about to bang them in the oven. You can see there's a fair amount of char in here. That's what we're looking for. We're really looking for you to taste that wood fire. You can see the carrots just started to get a little bit of brown. That's all we need. We don't need too much color. Go straight in with our carrots, right on the plate. Beautiful bison filet. Put a little bit of herb oil on the plate. And right in the middle, we have a little bit of a leak foam. That's our bison filet.
Thank you so much for cooking with us here today at Slate. Hope you love all the things we've done here. Hope this makes your food a lot better and you put that sexy on our food just like we do.